I'll just put sparkling wines in a bigger glass. That's actually it. No! <laughs> no, I refuse to do that. It's not right. <laughs> So, another week, another shit wine invention. We have, do you remember uh, a couple of weeks ago we were showcasing the wine stein? I do. Yes. Right, and we're, obviously this is a bit of a thing, particularly in Australia where there is sort of like this sort of big beer mentality. Um, and we all love beer. We all love beer in different situations. What's your favorite way to have a beer? Literally 20 minutes down the road at the exit, fresh off the pine. Bottom of the keg. Uh, three quarter time at a showdown when caught up by eight girls. Mmm, <laughs> 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 ball sports. Uh, I'm gonna say one of my favorite uh, places and times to have a beer is in the shower. Oh, big time. I think that's, Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. See where this is going. Already big fan. Already big fan? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we could have a shower wine? Uh, yeah. Problems with shower wines, of course, we have glassware, but this innovative company has come up with a fix for this. <laughs> Remember, uh, I, knew, I knew exactly where this was going, and I think every house basketball, basketball hoop. That would be awesome. Entertaining yourself in the shower with little mm. smaller glasses needed, potentially. No, no, no. But this, like, it's still centered, so it still works. Okay. Like, I want to see a champagne flute in this, because that would be that would work. Oh yeah, it might might wiggle a little bit. Yeah. 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 So, no, still wines only. No sparkling wines in the shower. What do you reckon? The thing that I noticed, I think it's fantastic. It. The other thing, uh, just remembering the other week when we were doing the wine condoms and we were talking about how they're obviously a joke and terrible. So the packaging with them, like look at the packaging that comes this way. It's not, it doesn't need the sizzle, it's got the steak. This is a good invention. Yeah. <laughs> Good I'm stuff. surprised because uh, we've had some pretty expensive uh, shit wine adventures. We have some more expensive wines yeah. that, I've, uh, that I've been chasing up. Um, this is by far one of the cheapest, as you might imagine. I don't see why. <laughs> $13. Oh, I reckon even lower. I reckon... Could be one of those ones where it's free, just pay shipping. Wow. So it's like it ends up being nine bucks. It may as well but be. It's, a it's, free a, it's around about six bucks. There you go. That's that's around about six so, bucks. but now this is the thing: where someone near has is going to have to take this home and actually road test it. Okay, oh. so we all well and good to look at it now, but will it stick to the wall? Whose phone's most waterproof? Uh, I'm gonna know it. This is gonna be a because because we have lambasted most of the uh, of the shit wine inventions. We've all concluded that they're pretty yeah. much shit, you don't need them. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the first shit wine invention, the cheapest one as well, that we're actually arguing might not actually be a shit wine invention. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's good until you get broken glass all through your shower, isn't it? Well, we'll just have to find out. <laughs> it's gonna be a great Someone's vlog. Someone's gonna be running it's the good. gauntlet. It's well, gonna be a great vlog. You'll see me, a lot, a lot of me, a little bit later on. Oh, hi. Didn't see that. Uh, welcome to the little road test of this little uh, shower wine cup holder. Uh, you're currently in my shower on this cool winter's evening, as you can tell by the steamy area. Um, and we're going to be testing out this wonderful thing with a glass of wine. And we're currently going to be drinking uh, the Unico Zello Malagamba. Uh, here is the little uh, device and contraption that you look for, eagerly waiting the test of. Um, so it's not like a suction cup that you'd be regularly expecting from your regular like shower accessories. Um, it's actually like a sticker, so my expectations of this are pretty high. Let's see if uh, shower beer can get a bit of a level up with some shower wine tasting. Bloody tasty wine. Now, the moment of truth. It bloody works. Uh, I cannot remember the price of this, but I highly recommend this. As this is clearly working, and uh, stop drinking beers in the shower, start drinking wine. And I can tell you that um, this little lovely little sultry Mali Gamba number is working very well in this little steamy condition. Anyways, uh, have a good night. See you next time in my shower. <laughs> <laughs>